Katy Perry declares her support for Donald Trump. Selena Gomez releasing a song about her ex, Justin Bieber. And Dylan and Catherine from 13 Reasons Why grace the Ellen Show. All that and more on today's Rundown. Hey guys, welcome back to the Daily Hollywood Rundown. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, Riley. Hello, hello. <laughs> We're all recovering from the cuteness that happened at the Radio Disney Music Awards. Mm -hmm. And later in the episode, we're going to talk about Britney Spears. But first, oh, we're talking about Katy Perry, who's under fire after going live on Instagram. So Katy Perry came under fire after comparing her recent makeover to former President Barack Obama leaving the White House. So the pop star took to Instagram live over the weekend. And when one fan expressed missing her typically dark locks, Katy clapped back. Oh, someone says I miss your old black hair. Oh, really? Do you miss Barack Obama as well? Okay, time's changed. Bye. See you guys later. <laughs> All right, so she then started to laugh before turning around to see her friend's reactions and said, I should leave now as someone off camera can be heard telling the singer, you're cut off. Fans online were quick to weigh in, saying it was a tasteless attempt at humor. <laughs> awkward Rylan, but I didn't quite get what she is she showing support for Trump or what is she doing here see I have no idea what she's trying to convey maybe she was saying hey Obama's not coming back to office and neither is my long black hair but on the other spectrum of that it sounded really shady as if she were in support of Trump which is ironic because yeah, she, she did campaign Hillary supporter yeah remember. so a lot of people took to Twitter oh and they were very upset this one person cracked me up as they pointed it out quote Katy Perry really did all that Hillary supporting for the money and then voted for Trump with her parents and now this LMAO whoa <laughs> oh my God. you know what I feel like Katy Perry recently has tried to be I love Katy Perry I'm the biggest Katy cat but remember she like tries to be funny and then it like comes out the wrong way remember her little comment about Britney Spears at the red carpet yeah I don't know what's happening it's kind of like me I'm so awkward when I try to be funny so when you're on live I feel like you're so under pressure and this is after her new single was receiving <laughs> tons of backlash I mean hey I guess any press is good press yes. but not a good day to be Katie maybe oh uh, just FYI for all of you guys Katie is slated to perform on the season finale of NBA Saturday Night Live on May 20th. All right, so maybe Katie made the mistake of bashing Britney Spears, but guys, didn't she look amazing at the Radio Disney Music Awards over the weekend? Not only was she honored with a tribute that was incredible, but she was also given the first ever Icon Award. Haley Steinfeld, Jamie Lynn, Sophia Carson, and Kelsey Ballerini honored Britney Spears by performing some of her hits at the Radio Disney Music Awards. The girls, of course, wore Britney's most iconic music video outfits. Let's start with Haley Steinfeld who took the stage in a full ringleader getup to perform Brit's hit Circus. I'm like the ringleader, I call the shots. I'm like a firecracker, I make it hot when I put on the dress. Carson of the Descendants then performed Hit Me Baby one more time and she looked incredible in the schoolgirl outfit and pigtails. Kelsey Ballerini, who busted her guitar to do a rendition of Oops, I Did It Again, was wearing one of uh, Britney's red iconic outfits and she looked so, so cute. But the best moment of the night was when her sister took the stage with the other tribute performers to perform the epic version of Till the World Ends. You can tell how deeply moved Britney was um, by this tribute and her adorable reactions. I feel like she almost cried or she teared up. Her mom was singing. The boys sort of were looking at their mom uh -huh. like, oh my gosh, you know, it was it was just like a really important moment and for her. Honestly, if anyone deserves this moment, it's Britney Spears because she has had so many hits, so many great oh music videos. I mean, I go to Vegas to see her all the time. Yes, 
so. How many times is it? Three or four already? I've been three. I have a fourth plan, so. Oh my gosh, you have to take me. No, but honestly, it was great. And she was so surprised when Jamie Lynn was the one that like ended the performance. Right. I feel like, or she said it, this is a surprise. You didn't know. Mm -hmm. um, they then went on to give her the award. Britt went up, obviously thanked her fans. And it was just so cute. Good for Britney. And it was also a big night for Camila Cabello, who won her first ever solo award for her collab with Machine Gun Kelly. Mm -hmm. And I mean, good for her. This is only the beginning. All right, Viv, moving along. Dylan and Catherine from 13 Reasons Why made their Ellen debut and gushed <laughs> all about the show's success. So 13 Reasons Why continues to ride this wave of popularity. Dylan and Catherine, the two stars of the show, uh, made their debut on Ellen, like I said, and they had a lot to say about the possibility of a second season. So the stars, they chatted with Ellen of the importance of 13 Reasons Why and stood behind the show's message. Dylan said, quote, the main goal overall is to start a conversation that we think is necessary to be had and to bring these issues to light and show them in a real way. And if people are talking, then we've reached our goal. As for whether or not the show is going to receive a second season, this is what Dylan had to say. We don't know yet. You I, really don't. I, no, I really, yeah. We really don't. I feel like the world's going to know before we do if it happens. I'll be online and be like, oh, there's a second season. Aside from the heavy topics, the two also talked to Ellen about the moment they knew their show was a big hit. For Dylan, it was when he went to Coachella and people screamed at him. And for Catherine, well, her moment was a little larger than life. I don't have Twitter, but Lady Gaga tweeted at me, like reposted an interview where I was fangirling and wrote Catherine with a love heart. And I kind of <laughs> freaked out a little bit. <laughs> And speaking of Catherine's Lady Gaga obsession, the 13 Reasons Why star recently turned 21 and Ellen managed to make her 21st super memorable because she so not cute. only got her tickets to Lady Gaga's concert, but she also got her VIP access and backstage oh my God. meet and greet passes. Ellen is amazing. Imagine, I would have been so happy. I can't. <laughs> so although we don't know if a season two is happening, yeah. I feel like it's it will happen. happen. And I feel like they're lying straight to our faces because I do feel like they yeah. know. And in other news, what was Selena Gomez doing this weekend, Ryland? Well, what else? Supporting her boyfriend, The Weeknd, at his LA show. The Weeknd performed at the Forum in Los Angeles over the weekend, and Selena was there with a group of pals to support him once again. Selena looked super cute at the show, wearing a black crop top and relaxed fit overalls, and of course, rocking her latest lob haircut. She also appeared in multiple friends' Instagram stories, singing along to all of his hits, which obviously isn't too surprising because she's seen him perform in five countries at this point. All right, well, that was adorable, but in other Selgo news, rumors are floating around that an upcoming song she co-wrote with Charlie XCX will be a bit of a diss track against her ex, Justin Bieber. The song called Bad Girlfriend is allegedly a tongue-in-cheek kind of tune, all about a girlfriend who takes the blame for a relationship going south Despite the boyfriend being the one who's obviously behaving badly, and I say obviously, why did I just blame the guy for behaving badly? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> why is it? I, I'm totally defending the girls. No, but this song supposedly is about Justin Bieber uh -huh. uh, because there are lyrics like this one. I know I'm not there for you or there when you call. I'm a bad girlfriend. I'm a bad girlfriend. One source at the sunset of the track saying, quote, it's all about a boyfriend the girl is no longer really into and has finally gotten why to. It's a tongue in cheek and Selena and Charlie knew exactly who they were writing about. Okay guys, at this point, I feel like Selena Gomez. The other day I was sitting there and I was counting with my little fingers how many years it's been since Selena and Justin were together. We need to get over it, you guys. But here's the thing. I'm hashtag Julie forever. I think oh, they're going to get back together. Too, no, but, but you know, here's the mean. thing. <laughs> they spent so long together and Selena hasn't really released a ton of music since their relationship. But Revival so, was like, I'm reviving into a new Selena. Hey. You know what? She's never going to let it go. And if she wants to sell music, I mean, she's going to sell music no matter what because yes. she's Selena Gomez. But if she wants to make headlines, she should write about Justin Bieber. And I think that's exactly but what she's doing. I don't agree with you. I think she should write about the weekend. It's the new Oh, thing. instead of yes. reminiscing on the past, talk I don't about know, the future. You guys. But here's the thing at the end of the day, most of, uh, of our favorite artist songs are about love, and the first thing we're gonna do is think of Justin Bieber or think of Selena. But we need to stop. We need to just let the girl do 
her thing. All right, you guys, that wraps things up for today's episode of The Durr. But of course, I have some questions. I want to know what you think Katy Perry was talking about. Does she support Donald Trump or was it just a bad joke that yeah. didn't hit well? And I want to know, honestly, what do you guys think about Selena? Is she still writing about Justin Bieber? Or I think do you guys agree true. with Riley? <laughs> Let us know in the comment section below or you can hit us up on Instagram at Vivian Fabula V and I'm at Ryland Adams. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Click left for details on Justin Bieber's $15,000 grill. Or click right for details on Katy Perry facing backlash on her new single.